Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about cross-site scripting. So let's make create a new folder and name it here XSS means cross-site scripting. And you will have a folder XSS, create a new file, uh, save it as index.php. So what is actually cross-site scripting? You can see in Google. Uh, cross-site scripting so you can see here cross-site scripting is a type of computer security vulnerability typically found in web applications XSS enables attacks to uh, attackers to inject client-side scriptings into web page basically client-side scripting means JavaScript programming once you can uh, enable to place your JavaScript code inside the server or in your database then that code once uh, displayed whenever that code will display in the page that will be a work that will that code will act and can harm your script can harm your application so here you can read access enables attackers to inject client side scripting into web pages viewed by other users a cross site scripting vulnerability may be used by attackers to bypass access control such as so i will show you by an example what is an example okay sorry so here is an example uh, I'm going to create but for this uh, I'm going to take something some components because that make get bootstrap.com and uh, here get it started and uh, get it started and 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 what do you want here uh, take a uh, this is I want HTML I want a little beauty so here paste it okay it's fine here is your body and I'm going to say it's a uh, okay don't I'm going to create a contact form contact form and uh, keep the it's a three just take a long fine and so it's okay don't I'm not going to write by myself just save it and uh, components uh, components and here you can get forms take your forms scroll down the email address password Okay, take this one, copy, and uh, just uh, remove this one and paste it here. Save it. Our folder is XSS. So here is our form. Okay, it's very large. To default, and should be inside container. class container and place your should I zoom out okay it's fine I hope it is visible so here form group input type email just take uh, okay it's email no problem and uh, I want email address or maybe you can give a name your it's a contact form your name text and uh, enter your name small just remove this one form group uh, instead of password uh, enter your message and instead of input right here text area close this area 
we don't require placeholder placeholder we will have enter your message here and for example password one will be removed here and type here uh, message and here also message type will be uh, don't we don't require type form control and placeholder is okay no problem and we don't require checkbox and here i'll say input type submit class btn and this fine so form and uh, give action uh, instead of uh, let's take her a row div and uh, class equals to row inside row take div sorry div class equals to call hyphen mv hyphen six and take your form from here and paste here save it and refresh so here enter your name your message and you can submit and uh, what we required is to contact form so we also required uh, here row ends here where is container and so container ends here and I'm going to take another row div class row or uh, here ah uh, it's of div dot call hyphen md hyphen six and here i will say um, h4 and one paragraph my message will appear here so here so it's, it's, it's a container right Okay, I don't know why it is here. Break. It's fine. So I will post message. Okay, meet you in the next.